Hey guys, this is Upesh from Bebom.com and it's been some time since we talked about Android apps and in the meanwhile, a lot of cool new Android apps have arrived. So yeah, it's time to talk about 8 cool new Android apps that I think you're gonna love. I think this is a very varied list of Android apps. So yeah, there's an app for basically everyone. So watch till the end. Let's get started with the first app. Okay, so I recently saw this video on Twitter showing an app that lets you pick objects in the real world and paste it on your laptop. And honestly, this is the first time that I saw a practical use of AR, so I obviously wanted to try it. Well, the app is called ClipDrop AR and it actually works. So I have ClipDrop installed on my phone and on my laptop. Now I can just point the camera to say this, the Pikachu bobblehead and click a picture. Now, as you can see, it's automatically cropped and I can just import it here on my laptop and drop it as an object. Now, this is actually really good and works. I mean, I've tried this out on multiple objects like TVs, my cycle, and works very well almost every single time. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Plus, I like that ClipDrop AR works on apps like Google Docs, PowerPoint, and even Photoshop. So that makes it very useful. Now, ClipDrop AR is not available in India, but I'll leave a link of the APK down below. So make sure to check it out. So I think you will relate to this. See, generally custom skins give battery life more priority rather than performance. I mean, I've seen a lot of custom skins killing apps running in the background. And I'm not talking about popular apps like WhatsApp or Facebook. I'm talking about new apps. And that kind of ruins the performance. And it's very weird because most of our phones these days have 6GB RAM, 8GB RAM minimum. And if you want to know if your phone is killing apps in the background, this new app tells you the truth. See, I'm talking about the new Don't Kill My App, which is a benchmark tool you can run for a few hours to check if your phone is killing apps in the background. I ran the benchmark on the Pixel 4a and it got a 100% score, which means it does not kill apps in the background. And I think stock Android does not. As for other skins, well, they did not do very well in this benchmark. As you can see, MIUI, One UI, and Realme UI, they're all below the 100% mark and have these white spaces indicating that they kill apps running in the background. Honestly, MIUI and Realme UI are pretty bad. As for Oxygen OS, the OnePlus 80 with the latest Oxygen OS 11 surprisingly did well, like stock Android with the 100% mark. And it's surprising because there's even a ranking of manufacturers in the Don't Kill My App website, which shows the companies who kill apps in the background most notoriously. And it has OnePlus on top. So maybe OnePlus has fixed it. Maybe. And yeah, that's a good thing. And I hope other makers do the same. So the iPhone's got a new feature recently, back tap, which basically lets you double tap or triple tap on the back to do an action like opening the control center or even do things like scrolling. Now Android 11 also has a similar hidden feature which hasn't really made it to prime time. Anyway, this new app called TapTap tap brings the same functionality to every single Android phone. It's a very simple app that just works. Not only the Pixel 4a, but even on Xiaomi phones, Realme phones, or even Samsung phones. So it's pretty simple. You can just set an action for the double tap and the triple tap and then you can just do this to take a screenshot maybe or turn on the flashlight it's very cool and i like that there's even haptic feedback when you use this so yeah this is actually pretty useful so this one is for samsung users out there i'm sure you guys have used good log because it's like the ultimate customization tool on samsung phones but recently i came across this video on twitter showing the samsung keyboard with this really cool, almost RGB-like effect. Well, this is thanks to a new Keys Cafe module in Goodlock. So I installed the Keys Cafe module and well, this is the same theme and effect in action right here on the Samsung keyboard. This looks awesome. And yeah, I like this cool new effect, but the module has a lot more as you can see. And I also like this effect, which I think is very cool. So these new effects add an RGB feel to the keyboard, but there are other features too. You can make your own keyboard here by customizing the keys and everything. You can even style things. So yeah, if you have a Samsung phone running One UI 2.5, check it out on the Galaxy Store. I know, I know, every other skin and even stock Android now has a screen recorder built in, but this is a screen recorder app that I think you'll like. So this is the screen recorder app I'm talking about, and I know it looks like a pretty usual screen recorder app, but there's a twist. See, as far as I know, this is the only screen recorder that actually supports screen recording in up to 120 FPS. 
as you can see there's 90 and 120 option which is great because a lot of phones these days have high refresh rate displays so the whole high refresh rate smoothness and animations can be actually captured via this screen recorder so yeah this is great So a lot of new launchers have arrived off late, but I think this ratio launcher is something that deserves a mention. So this is the ratio launcher in all its glory and I think its minimal look is beautiful. See what makes this launcher appealing is that it's aimed at cutting down your phone usage, but it's not in your face about it. See there are two pages here, the root aka the home screen where you can quickly check things like news, weather, play a YouTube video, jot down a note, turn on the timer. Yeah, there's a lot of functionality and there's the second page which is basically the app drawer with apps categorized. You can search for apps, move them around and you can even press hold on an app to see how much you've used it and get more customization options. See this whole monochrome look takes some time getting used to but I actually find it interesting so you guys might like it. So if you've watched our iOS 14 video, you'd know that I really like the new features where the phone shows you these dots when an app is using the camera or the mic. MIUI 12 brought a similar feature and I really like that. But if you want this feature on your phone, Access Dots is a new app for that. It's very simple. It shows iOS 14 like color dots whenever the camera or the mic is in use. So the moment this camera is active, this dot shows up. Same with the mic. And since it is an Android app, there's obviously customizability. You can choose the location of the dots, the colors of the dots, the size, etc, etc. Yeah, just create Android things. So PowerShade is an app that I have recommended in a past videos because it lets you customize the notification shade completely with the tiles, the theme, basically everything. And it's not exactly a new app, so why am I recommending it again? Well, good question. See, PowerShed brings Android 11's new media controls UI to any Android device. As you can see, the app lets you add a dedicated media control UI to the notification shade, just like Android 11. Now, all of the Android 11 features aren't present here, but you can control the media playback. And I like that there's this button to switch between different output devices. So this is cool if you wanted the Android 11 media control feature. Well, those are some of the cool new Android apps that I recently discovered. And if you want to check them out, I have added all the links in the description down below. So check them out. And yeah, if you think there's a new app that we kind of missed out on, make sure to comment down below. Give this video a like if you like these apps and subscribe to the channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.